you know, if you come in and say, we're going to capture 50% of the market in three years, like that's a, <laughs> like that's just kind of a red flag in terms of your ability to think realistically. I mean, obviously you want to, you know, think big and, you know, be a visionary, I guess, but the investors are looking for some understanding of realism. Um, you know, in terms of forecasting, I think most investors at this very early stage level where we play, you know, you can give them a five-year financial model and, you know, we'll kind of play around with it, but ultimately take it with a grain of salt. And so to me, it more comes back to, again, you know, show me that pipeline. <laughs> and if you show me a pipeline that's got 10 customers in it, but you say you're going to have 100 customers this year, like now we can have this conversation about why do you, why are you forecasting that? How are you going to get that? That doesn't mesh with what you have in your in your current contact list, and we'll try to try to hash it out from there. So I think be be realistic, but um, you know have have reasons behind the the numbers or the customer targets that you're forecasting for sure.